That man was 27-year-old Levi Axtell. Authorities said that Axel, who was covered in blood and in a frenzy, claimed to hit Scully on the head about two dozen times with a shovel he found on Scully's deck, and then hit him several more times with a large moose antler to, quote, finish him off. Fatality. Ooh, lads. I know there's been a lot of depressing stories out there, especially if you've got money in banks. But here you go. Here's something to, I don't know, get you through the day. Dude kills convicted pedophile with moose antlers. Did that do anything for you? Ooh, man, you can tell there's a whole part of the Twitter sphere upset about this. All of the we love minor attracted people very upset that this man took vigilanteism into his own hands. Ray, 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 how could you do that? How could, how could he just go out there and kill a minor attracted person? They're people too. What? I can't hear you over the wood chipper. I got an industrial size wood chipper over here. I'm doing some renovation. I can't hear. What was that about minor attracted people and you're being all butthurt about this? <laughs> oh, man. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird on the left-hand side. Love's protecting people who love kids. Love is love. Really? Is that you, Chunky Yogurt? Love is love? You banging a horse over there? Anyhow. Report, Minnesota, man kills offender using moose antler and shovel. Sheriff says it's a combo. It's a combo, boys, right? <laughs> 15 to 20 slaps in the head with a shovel. And then a fatality with moose antlers. Mooseality, if you will. Toasty! Anyhow. <sighs> this show's stupid. <laughs> this show is just dumb. Anyhow, Minnesota man was charged Friday with fatally beating an elderly man previously convicted of child sex, child, se bleh, child sexual assault. So disgusting, it's hard for me to speak about it. Who he had believed was stalking his young daughter in the past. And so this guy's got a 22-month-old baby. And this convicted pedophile keeps driving around daycare in a rape van. Allegedly. And so the dad says, I'd like to get... I don't know, a restraining order? So he goes over to the woke police department with the BLM placard in the window and the rainbow flag above the American flag. They don't even fly the American flag, apparently. They go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll get a protective order for your small child that is constantly being allegedly hunted by a dude in a rapey van. And then a week later, they just throw it out. They go, ah, never mind. Eh, never mind. Axel over here, this, this savage, sought an order of protection which was granted but then dismissed within several weeks, according to court records. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? So what that this convicted Epstein likes hunting around daycares and elementary schools? That's fine. He's just looking for the next drag queen story, our kid to read to or something like that. You bigots? Yeah, but he's a convicted, convicted sexual pedophile assault pedophile. Maybe he shouldn't be trolling around daycares and, and, and schools. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! What are you? What are you? What are you? Some sort of Donald Trump supporting maggot? Huh? Huh? Wait, you have hate in your heart? I do have hate in my heart. Yeah. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, for people who are preying on small children, I got a lot of hate in my heart. So I'm not going to lose any sleep about this story over here. This guy then takes a shovel... 15 to 20, he lost count. <laughs> lost count. 15 to 20 times upside the convicted pedophile's head, allegedly, and then finishes him off with some moose antlers and then walks into the police department and says, well, since, you know, you guys aren't protecting small children, I made a bit of a mess. And then they arrest him. And then uh, he's got a million dollar bail. So he's the only person in Minnesota. <laughs> he's Dude happens to have the wrong skin complexion the wrong political beliefs, and he's putting down lefty pedophiles. And so they're like, no, 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 you're going you're gonna to sit in jail. You're going to sit in jail. I'm surprised that they even offer him bail, right? Everybody else, you got a lot of people in Minnesota. They burning down apartment blocks. They kill a lot of people. You know, setting Wendy's on fire and killing black people while wearing Black Lives Matter shirts. None of those, oh, no, no, listen. No, 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 we can't arrest them. Come on, civil rights movement, slavery or something. I don't know. Rap reparations and something like that. But this dude... Taking down a convicted pedophile, he gonna go to prison, right? 
Is that what we're doing over here? This is where jury nullification comes in handy. So we'll have to see what happens. But there you have it. Minnesota man kills sex offender using moose antler and shovel. And the only people who are upset about this, by the way, the people who are crying about this, are the people who keep telling you it's totally fine to let weirdos show their genitals to small children because it's performance. Right, John Stewart? Right? Wow, that's weird. John Stewart really interested in people being allowed to show their testicles to small children. Wow. Wow. John Stewart, highly questionable. And the rest of the ilk of the left-hand side that keeps telling everybody it's totally fine. It's totally fine to keep messing with small children. They're the only ones upset in this situation. Go figure. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. Support y'all. If you want to be kept up to date with moosalities, hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.